The subject of money is a huge topic that affects every individual and family. On the show today, we have Dr. Olumide Emmanuel to discuss the common money mistakes to avoid as individuals, families, and even entrepreneurs. Welcome to the show, sir. Yes, thank you for having me. It's nice to be here, life yeah, and direct. Life yes. and direct. With yes. the ladies of your view. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Our people are students in the school of money. Oh. We are. Uh -huh. we are. So you have Constantly. to read it. So that... I brought another set of books today. You have wow. to read and read and read wow. because that's part of the mistake wow. that we have to deal wow. with. Mm. So, so. Um, I've been studying about money and I've read a couple of books. And um, one of the issues that a lot of people you know, struggle with is how to keep their money. So you know how to make the money, but then how do you keep it away from things that would naturally eat it? Uh, let me not use relatives. Let it you not know, look like you don't want to send money to them. But how do you, <laughs> how do you uh, make that money and protect it so that you're giving less than you're making and not giving more than you're uh, making? Well, well, basically, when it comes to wealth creation, you make, you manage, and you multiply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must know how to make money. Yes. Yes. And to know how to make money, you must also know how not to make money. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, because if you make money in the wrong way, you're going to end up losing it. Yeah, money oh. So how not how to not? make money? You don't make money by stealing. You don't make mm. money by begging. You Corruption. don't make money by fraud. Mm. You don't make money by marriage. To so say I want to marry into money. Yeah, yeah, we don't talk enough <laughs> about this thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you, you, don't not to make, you don't make don't money into marriage it. because mm. I, I always tell people, um, you know, a lot of women unfortunately sometimes don't take their financial life serious. They mm. just think once I've married a rich man. My case but is see, settled. Wealth is not sexually transmitted. <laughs> so <laughs> that you are married to a rich man does not make you a rich woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's why a lot of people by the time their spouse now dies or it does not have a job anymore or crisis happen, they get into trouble and their children suffer. Rewind, sir. So no, your money it. is your money. Your money no, is not our money. Leave that one. You see, all this, you say your money Marriage is, is not... our money. My money is my money. Mm. All those kind of stuff. Mm. Yes, when you come into a married relationship, the two has become one. Yeah. Okay. And that two becoming one is joint knowledge, joint decision, joint planning. Yes. Mm, not joint money. Not necessarily joint account mm -hmm. if it doesn't work for you. Yes. Because you need okay. to know what works for you. Okay. Yeah. So it's joint knowledge. I must know what you have. You must mm, know what I have. There I have. shouldn't be any secret anywhere. I love this. That, then mm. there should also be joint planning. Mm. Yes. And joint decision making. Decision making. Yes. Wow. Because and once you understand that, it will. It will Let's go back to what you just said because okay. I was saying this to a couple of women and it sounded strange. Strange. To them. Okay. Marriage is not economic empowerment. No, it's not. It's not. So let's agree, and I hope women are watching for the come and say, yeah. because it's a man that I said agree. it, mm. yeah. that you know it is not. Yeah. And it is because, because mm. go and check it anyway. Mm. Mm. Some women marry and every day you come and you say, oh, for me, Lowo, If I say, why have you not done it? Ah. That body did not give me money. Yeah. I'm like, is it supposed to give you money? Yeah. You know, so why did you... I don't understand because you... I tell a lot of young people, okay, you went to school, I went to school. You graduated seven years ago, I graduated seven years ago. You have BSc, I have BSc. You started working six years ago, I started working six years ago. I meet you six years later as a single man. You are asking me, do you have a house? Do you have a car? Why you no get? Ah. We have both been working for six years. What have you been doing with your own money for the past six years? <laughs> then when, uh, then when I now meet you, Bad I should bits. now carry all your responsibilities. Uh, so you know marriage, that. marriage is we love each other mm. and want to build a life together. And yeah. everybody should come in with 100-100, not 50-50. Mm, not 50 you come in with 100% commitment to do all you can. The other person comes with 100% commitment to do all they can. Mm -hmm. And when you come into marriage, it doesn't matter whether the man is rich or not. For your own personal Fulfillment, you were not created for marriage. Hey. That's not your marriage, is not your destiny. Mm. It is not that the creator created, I said, Let me send her, go and marry. That's not your <laughs> destiny. That's just one of the things that you require to continue to fulfill destiny. Mm. And once you understand that, you because I, I keep wondering on one side, you want the man to do everything for you, you are a liability. On the other side, you are talking woman empowerment. Who put you in bondage? You can't mix it. You want to be liberated from who? Nobody stops you from making your own money. Mm. Today, now, even if you are a full time mm. housewife with wisdom, you can make money online, you can make money from home, you can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. So um, I believe very strongly that once people understand that making money is the first level, but you need to know how not to make money. Yes. Which is some of the things I've said, including don't wait for inheritance. <laughs> so you want your father ah. to die before you make money and all this other yeah, Any I'm money you did not table. work for, yeah, yeah. 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 any money you didn't work for, you don't have the wisdom to manage it. I just mm. feel and that. If you go online now, you find mm. that there are many lottery winners within the first 12 months to 24 months, the money is gone. True. Because you grow Cracked. 
So if you jump up, you will come down. Yes. If you grow up, you will stay up. Rewind, sir. Any money you didn't work any for. Any money you did not work for, you don't have, have the, the wisdom, wisdom to, manage to manage it. it. I agree. Do you understand? That. That's why when I tell people, no matter what, let your spouse, your wife work. Mm. When a woman is not working to earn money, she mm. won't know how difficult it is to get money. Yes. Mm. So when you she says, I need this, you, you give her 100,000, eh, eh, I see that, 100,000. Have you got 100,000 yourself? Your, your own labor, I think for 100,000. So sometimes, and unfortunately, people don't discuss these things because it's a tough issue in marriage. Yeah. And when, when we talk about marriage, the things that cause, because apart from uh, my major stuff is relationship, finance, and leadership. Yeah. Wow. So that's my three major areas. And when we talk about marriage, a lot of people don't realize that the top three causes of marital problem is communication, sex, and money. And, money. and mm. people don't want to talk about that money, money issue. It's a difficult conversation. You don't want to talk sir. about that money issue because the way a, a, a lady's mind work is different from the way a man's mind work. And when we come into a relationship and we understand that, look, I love you, I'm ready to do everything for you, but let's face reality. And that's why I tell men, always make sure you do full disclosure. Let your wife know this is all we have. So Thank that you will you. know whether you have a wife or a knife. A knife. Hi. Because if my wife knows my salary is 750, I didn't have this my payslip, mm. and you are asking me for both straight. You are asking me for to change your car. <laughs> both and I begin to ask, hey, you know you're your bone straight, your destiny is not straight. No. <laughs> You want go straight. You want back that shoe to match. Whereas your destiny is not matching your bank account. Wow. You have only two legs. Wow. You want to buy shoes like I'm not buying. I love shoes. I love shoes. I love if you love shoes, buy shoe, produce shoe, manufacture shoe, sell shoe, market shoe, design shoe. So if a man is earning 750 and you are asking him to buy you a brand new car, then you are a thief or you are a criminal. Mm. But if the man does not let you know how much he earns, mm. women like children think that their father is the most powerful. So women will think, yeah. ah, my husband get money, mm. he gets something with the eye. Yeah. So for me now, all our bank accounts, my wife has the token, has the code. Mm. I, if I say, come, what's the code for that one? Mm. So if you now see what is there, and, and you, you are demanding for what is greater than that, you mm. will explain mm. yourself. I'm returning yourself. talking oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I think Whoa. that's why they're this not doing awesome. I'm returning everything. And I, I don't think, want to make okay. it. But, but before you, you're coming. Okay. I think um, uh, this is what it was used for me personally. Because okay. I remember when I started my life, and then I'll present Bill. I want this, I want that, I want that. The guy just came and said, see it. Share yeah, it. Yeah. Give me that transport fare. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, that's it. Anything you want to do with it, do it with do it. it. You will not realize so that. So I had sense quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, the topic today was really to understand um, some costly mistakes, mistakes yeah. that mm. we should not make. But okay. I'm thinking we should talk about how not to make money. Yeah. Because okay. it's really important. You have started with the marriage one because a lot of people really feel, a lot of people have based their happiness on finding that man that can take them yeah, out of poverty yeah, yeah. and then they find themselves in that marriage and they're still not happy and yeah, now yeah. you're explaining to us that if you want to be rich and if you want to have money and be happy it's not necessarily a man that can do that what other relationship mistakes are we making um looking at it like it is something that would get us money apart from now, marriage you see like i also say you don't make money by begging we have all this bread ah. winner syndrome mm. As if, okay, if somebody is winning bread, what do you do? Your hand break. Mm. Hmm. Can't you start your own bakery? Somebody is a breadwinner. And then because of this entitlement mentality, you know, because we have this entitlement that there are anybody that has money is because of us. Mm. You know, even for us, yeah, it's because of us that God is blessing people like you. Mm. So, so, that you of, yeah, so that you can bless us people. What so, is family for everybody? Abio, Abio is not to help each other. So many of this hey. entitlement mentality, you have a rich man hey. years ago, a man walked into our bookstore, and then he was just complaining, complaining. And because of what I also do, I also happen to be a pastor. So I'm like, ah, maybe this guy needs counseling or help mm. to pray. So I said, sorry, are you okay? He said, eh, you know, I just came from school. This is my uncle. You know, these rich people. So I'm like, any problem? He said, ah, I came to see him, and I told him I needed money. Eh? I asked for 64000 He just gave me 30000 eh? wow. I said, did he know you were coming? He said, no. Did you tell him you needed money before you came? You just came to somebody's house on Friday. Hey. And you are going back on Monday. I say, I can only do 30. I say, are your parents? They say, my, my parents are alive, but they don't have money. Now. He's the richest man in our family. Now. He's not supposed to take care of all of us. I say, yes. whoa. You come into a man's house on Friday night. Uh, he's not aware you were coming. He say, ah, sorry, we need to. And he gave you 30. <laughs> and now he's a bad man. Mm, Those are part of the entitlement mentality. So you, and that's why you find out that when people, it's part of this why we have problems in Nigeria. 
You say politicians are corrupt. Mm. Then your cousin becomes a governor. Mm. And all of, of course, you work. How much is the salary? But we are also enablers then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you are the rich man, like you are also yeah. enabling yeah, them. You are enabling them. You are now saying, okay, so if the guy will have to steal to settle all yeah, of so. you. Because he wants to meet us. So, uh, so entitlement meant like thinking that because somebody has money, we are all friends, mm. and I'm beginning to do well, my business is moving, then because of that, when we all go out, okay, well, let's go I'll to Dubai, I should pick me for all of you. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't work like because that. I should be able to do what I want to do because I feel like doing not because I'm under pressure or I'm being blackmailed. So all those kind of things cause trouble. And that's why you find out that when people come to a level, they start separating themselves, say, hey, because you don't get money now. It's that's not because you don't get money. Mm. It's because there is a mindset you have when you begin to rise. And if you don't have money and you don't have that kind of mindset, you're going to slow me down mm -hmm. or you're going to begin to make me feel uncomfortable around you because there are some conversations I can't have. Anymore. I want to pay for a flat in Lekki. It's 35 million, I pay 20, I'm paying the balance of 15, small, small. I can't talk to you about that because you are telling me, oh, you know, when I ask you for 60,000, you, you didn't give me. And now you're spending now you're millions. For millions. Oh. As if you are the one that will plan my future for me. Mm. What, mm. What's going to happen with my children? School fees, look at what's happening with dollars. Yeah. So if you are thinking, oh, how my children to have a better life, you want to send them abroad, you are not going to use Naira to do that. Mm. Just six years ago, Naira was 150, 170. Now it's 570. Mm. What will happen in the next ten, 10 years, years when our children that are young now will now be going to America, maybe it's 5000 to a dollar. And mm. then you want to pay school fees of 30000 So I'm supposed to plan now for that. Mm. So I can't say because you're my friend, you're my family, I will now stop that. That's why it's called extended family. So, 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 anything Lube. that is not nuclear is Dr. extended. Lube. Now, what's in rich? Now, with the share. Now, with the share. Okay, Dr. Lube, there's an impression you give family. <laughs> because yesterday, here. just yesterday, mm. me and my sister-in-law were on this topic. Mm. Our fathers lead this life. There's an impression that you give family that makes them think, I don't need to do anything. I just need to bring my problem, you solve it. There was a, a, a joke that they used to laugh about within my family about my uncle, telling a woman, you know my brother, he lives in Lagos. That, he wants to marry the woman. My brother lives in Lagos. Do you see that house? My brother has house. My brother, my aunt, the woman agreed to marry him. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so what impression do you give family? How do you give them the impression that you're still family, but that they are budding? It's not your own, and you're not killing anything. That's why we need to have that discussion. In 1998, my own story started in 98. I got married in 1997 and discovered that that was one of the greatest mistakes of my life. The marriage was not the mistake. Getting married poor was the mistake. Mm -hmm. I fell into the trap of, I love you the way you are. Yeah. I love you the way you are. <laughs> and I suddenly realized that there's no romance without finance. Hi. I love you the way you are does not mean I love you to remain the way you are. Mm. When, a you, yeah, when a woman tells you, yeah, when a woman tells you I love you the way you are, own. she has a, an unconscious diary that mm. I, if I suffer with this guy, peace within change, three yes. to five years. Mm. If after three to five years nothing changes, our whole story will change. And then you start hearing that cannot take care of his house. It's worse than an if there. Are you a man that you would now enter depression? Thank <laughs> like you. So in 1998, when I began to realize that I became depressed, I said, I want to find out the way out. Mm. And when I found out what it takes to become rich and wealthy, the first First thing I did was to call a family meeting. Hold your thoughts, Fat, sir. Let's okay. take a short break. When we come back, you continue. I feel like clapping, like just a round of applause. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back. You were giving us an analogy. Yeah, so the first thing I did was to call a family meeting. I'm the firstborn in my family. And you have all this firstborn bondage. Mm -hmm. we, we, the, the, in other clan, we call it the black tax. So you are the first, uh, you should take care of every other person. Automatically. And then they hand over people to you, people I didn't give birth to. <laughs> so I called the family meeting, father, mother, and all my siblings. And I said, look, I've just realized that the way out of poverty is not all this fasting, prayer, and all this religion. Oh, yeah, religion is more dangerous than religion. Mm. So we need to understand that. To the pastor saying that? Religion is more, I don't believe in religion. Mm, I, I like actually it. hate religion. Mm. Religion has caused more trouble in this world yeah. than a Christianity is not a religion, it's yeah. a relationship, it's a way of life. Yeah. And it should be humanity at work, love mm. at work, not mm. all this stuff that we have turned into. Mm. So I told her, I said, look, father, mother, everyone, I've learned this. So number one, daddy, mommy, these are your children, they are not my children. Mm. I am telling you today, I am not, they are not my responsibility. Mm. So let them plan. And all of you, don't look at me as firstborn uh, breadwinner. What I have learned, I'm going to be doing a four-day seminar. All of you must be there to come and learn what I've learned. We are all poor now. I want to start practicing it. 
<laughs> so that when it begins to blow, you won't say he didn't I'm not tell you. Me along. Number one. Then you parents, I said, oh no, it's not a levy. Because there's also this, mm. you are not taking care of your father. You had all this emotional blocking. Even though this breast when you suck, what's all that? The Bible says, honor your father and mother. The same honor, it says, honor the Lord with your son. It's not a levy. It's something you do out of honor. It's not a tax. So I say, parents, honor is not a levy. You gave birth to me, I didn't give birth to you. The Bible even actually says that it is the parents that lay off for the children, not the children that lay off for the parents. So you people should release me to go and pursue this thing. And wonderful parents, wonderful, everybody understood. They understood. And I started mm. that journey. Between 2008 and 2000, uh, 1998 and 2001, I went on the journey and my story changed. Mm. When my story changed, I returned in 2001. And so between then and them. now, my parents have been on salary every month. Mm. I said, Daddy, Mommy, finally. Because you have made it. Yeah. So well, you people allowed me mm, to be to able grow. to do this so it was easier because that's when they carry, you know, they carry person. Hey. If you are carrying a 50 kg cement, you can't run as fast as someone that has no load. That's you people allowed me to run. So in four years, things have changed. And what I did, which you need to learn again, is I put a check for one year in one envelope for my dad, another one for my mom. Don't give your parents money the same way. No, 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 we don't. Give them separately. Mm. Because when you go, it will cost trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bought them a brand new car. By, between then and now, I bought them maybe three or four cars in the last whatever year. So I say, from today till you die, what you mm. eat is no more a problem. But it's not a levy. Mm. You understand? Because they allowed they you to allow grow. They allowed to grow. So we need to understand because those are how the things. Because parents give birth to children, they can't train. Mm. Every year, your wife, they get belay as if you are trying to win an award. You give birth to children like sardine. They say it's Rich investment. people have just two children. Three max, mm. except those that have polygamy. You that is poor man you every year. Your body. Uh, take it, take it. If this one don't make her, this one will make her. <laughs> just the bump to kill me. All of them are looking like that. One, one year apart, like Kwashoko. <laughs> and then we are killing each We are killing each other. Poor people create trouble for themselves. Hey. You give birth to children you can take, care, take of. care of. You are looking for male and female. Who told you that? Every male you have, you already have a female waiting to come mm. and marry them. So if you have two females, Open your mind. they are in your house, yeah, you have two males yeah, being there. raised in another family that will come and marry them, mm. add them to your prayer, add them to your planning. If you have two males, you have two females being raised in another family that will come and marry them, add them to your prayer, add them to your planning. But I want to add boy, then a big girl, you born four girls, <laughs> then by the time you are waiting for the boy, when the boy now arrive, he arrive as one boy, one girl again. You become five girls, one, one boy, boy, and then your salary is 70, your wife is selling bakery or selling church card. And then you say it's one devil in the village. It's one village people troubling you. You are the village people. Most of what we call generational cause in this climate is not a cause, it's generational ignorance. Mm. It's generational lack of planning. Your <laughs> grandfather worked in Nigeria Railway. Your father worked in Nigeria Airways. Now you are in Naples. In what way is that a generational cause? It's a generational choice. You all chose to be civil servants. You chose that nobody would be an entrepreneur. Your grandfather didn't build the house, you didn't build. Now, you are now saying it's not, no, 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 no. It's not. Have you noticed that all over this Lagos? Illiterate are the landlord, educated ones are the tenants. Yeah, yeah. You yes. went to school, you think you have, you are doing big yeah, boy, big do. girl. You go, they buy a car, seven million. They rent house of 2.5 million. The landlord they is illiterate. They go trips. And they are calling you orga tenants. Orga tenants. Orga tenants. Please. Okay. Sir, I want to take you somewhere. But first, your story reminded me of when, uh, as a teenager, my younger brother, the many years between us, and my mom would say for me to teach him his homework. And he would not want to listen. He would be screaming, this is child abuse. And I went to go and meet my mom. I said, see, he better learn his school book now because I'm not going to grow up. I'll be paying anybody. I'll be paying anybody any money then. Yeah. You know, I don't know how it came I to be, but I don't felt, you know, better sort yourselves out yeah. now quickly mm -hmm. because I'm not going yeah. to be sorting, yourself, um, sorting you out later. But, you know, uh, a few days ago, we discussed this story about a pastor lady mm -hmm. who talked about um, people who are rich should have only rich friends. You know, I'm just some, you know, um, mm -hmm. summarizing it, yes, paraphrasing it. So you should have only rich friends. You cannot be, or else, it, almost like it would, those who are not rich will drag you down. And the thoughts generally was like, no, you need all kinds of people to be friends with. Was she right or were we wrong? Okay, now, um, I'm, I don't know why you brought that up, but mm -hmm. I think that's why you brought it up. Mm -hmm. That message was actually preached in my church. Oh! oh. Yeah, just... Two weeks ago. Oh. So if you go online, you see my name there. Dr. Mm -hmm. I was the one who was saying, Dr. Lumi there, because of, uh, that mm -hmm. message was preaching my church. Okay. And Give um, us the BC, BC um, said exactly what was the right thing. Okay. She said, we don't have the full message. Mm -hmm. So maybe she, we picked it out of context. Uh, but you know the way social media works. Yeah. They push all kinds of stuff out of context. Now, the, um, she was talking about a lot of things. Okay. And in what she was saying, she was talking about being intentional. 
mm. about the way you live your life, mm. about the fact that in life your associations mm. affect you. Mm. The kind of people you move with affect you. If you have tried to help people, they are not willing to be helped. Staying there will affect you. And then she went on and on. Mm. So if you look at the entire message, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to understand the context within mm -hmm. which she was that. speaking. Mm. Then you'll be able to see, because I was there, I was sitting there, it was in my church. Okay. The message was, so when he went by, she called me and said, ah, Pastor, see, see that, uh, we, are, we are blowing up there, we are only there. I said, look, I don't do social media, so I don't really know. He what? said, this thing that I said, I said, look, one of God, you are not, we have been in this thing now. Let them say whatever they want to mm. say. We Just make sure that you are true to yourself yeah. and those that are there understand. Because I, I now went to watch it and I'm like, oh, no, this is nothing. They, I know that's not They've the way it out. They've oh, cut so, something. Yeah. Even the one I said, they said that I said that if they don't pay the pastor money, that uh, they, are, they, they are doing baby dedication. And then you now put 500 naira in the so envelope for baby dedication and you didn't give your pastor more oh. than that. But you use, you use 500,000 for naming ceremony. And you now use 500 naira for offering. That the 500 you use for naming ceremony is that are you not supposed to give your pastor yeah, that that's why the children turn out wrong? Ah, okay, but what were you trying you to know, say? You know, so so they were now so because they, no, the, the theme of the conference was Kingdom Wealth Conference. Okay. My own series was Understanding Kingdom Wealth. Mm -hmm. That Kingdom Wealth is a wealth that has its source in God mm -hmm. and the kingdom as its purpose. Mm -hmm. And in the kingdom, kingdom wealth is not acquired, it is entrusted. Okay. So God must trust you to entrust wealth to you. Mm -hmm. And for that to happen, we now started listing different things that people need to understand. And one of the things they need to understand is that when you come into the kingdom, there are kingdom covenant obligations. Mm. You cannot go to London and say, I don't believe in pounds. Okay. You must spend pounds. You can't go to London and say, I don't believe in living, um, driving on the left side of the road. You must align. Mm -hmm. So when you come into the kingdom, there are things that have been aligned in the kingdom. So we now listed 10 covenant obligations hmm. that people need to live by. Okay. First fruits, tithe, offering, welfare, honoring the less privileged, um, honoring your parents, and all that. So, we now, so it is in listing all those, we now started explaining. For people who have kingdom wealth. Kingdom wealth. Hmm. One kingdom, because there are two ways to make money. You either do it Babylon way or covenant way. Mm. Now you are either in the secret court or you are in the secret place. It's your choice. Hey, you cannot so, be in so between. You can't be in between. You mm. can't be. That's why I say love you. That's why I say religion is killing people. You see, people are so religious, but they are not even in the secret place. You are not in secret court. We're in the you free place. Secret place. You are absent and you are wondering. What? People don't know that money is spiritual. Money is a spirit. Mm. Money has a soul. Money lives in the body. That currency in your hand is not money. That's ordinary paper. It's legal tender. If we change it today, it seems to be money. Mm. So that's the body of money. The spirit of money is mammon. The soul of money is the value that that money has in the marketplace. Okay. So that's why one currency will be higher than the other currency in the marketplace, depending on your relationship with mammon. So many people don't realize that if you are going to become wealthy, you have to choose your track. Mm. There is nobody on earth that mm. can succeed without giving. She's here. Yeah. There is Sadak, Isaac, whatever you, you, all kinds of. They too have their own stuff that you have to give. You have to take up less. Yeah, yeah. So there are a whole lot of stuff. Here. Nobody can ever become rich without, without giving. giving. Mm. But the problem we have is people are not well taught, and then we have a lot of charlatans, jobless people, visionless people that now think that because of the poverty situation in Africa, they can now use that to deceive people. Because many of these pastors, you see, their message is local. Once they cross border, they don't get message. Once you reach Canada, all these useless messages will not work. So, <laughs> so <laughs> when you were talking about um, wealth yeah. and care for parents, yeah. I wanted to quickly draw the care for parents line. Yeah. So in my faith, for instance, since you've referred to it, care for parents is not actually money. It's time and actual care. So you can't have a parent aging and because you want to go and make money and it's important to have money. You leave that parent without a structure of care. So what exactly is wealth? If, if time yeah, is of value, if availability okay. is of value, is, now, um, is only time, riches. Right. If, you know, in the book I gave you guys, The School of Money, because all these things have been asked. Now, when we talk about wealth, there's a difference between wealth and riches. Riches is monetary. Wealth is all-inclusive. Mm. Yes. So when you talk about wealth, health is wealth. Relationship well is wealth. Mm -hmm. Time is wealth. Skill is wealth. So when you talk about wealth, it's more than just money. So you can be rich and you are not wealthy. Mm. Or you cannot be wealthy and not be rich. rich. So once you understand the holistic aspect of wealth, you will not spend all your time pursuing money and losing your health and your mm. time, only to now try to use the money to buy back your health. Yes. So when people understand true wealth, you know that, look, I may not have the money to give my parents right now just to honor them, 
But whatever I have, mm. if it's 2,000 on the chat card every month, I have mm. a new one, mommy. Stay them. connected. Mm. And then you call them. Sometimes when people get old, because what you saw, you will Yes. When, when people get older, they just need someone to be there. How are you doing, ma? Oh, this are you okay? And then you send, you go there, spend time with them. That's why those that are in the foreign um, countries that know they do not have the time to be able to do that, they have created a structure, mm, nursing systems. home, old people's home, where they pay for it, and then somebody gives them the care that yeah. they need. Yeah. And we need to understand that as the world is moving right now, those things need to begin to happen even in our climate also. So people should understand. That's why I say it's not a levy. Because people say, I don't have money, I have mm. money. You don't have money, you don't have time. Mm. You don't have you money, you don't have me. good words. You don't have phone call. Mm. It doesn't work like that. Because what you are sowing today, you will reap. Mm. The way you take care of your parents or the way you don't take care of them, whether you like it or not, life, karma, <laughs> life will always, you know, roll back. back. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Emmanuel. We don't want Lenny you to Day. go. Ah, we wish yeah, you can extend well. another one. I will, I will come again. We have not even done money mistake. Oh. We, no. don't. we don't even started. We went from one, so no problem. We will come again. Thank you so much. And thank <laughs> I've you told you people, easy. once in a month, let's be doing this thing. Yeah. Once yeah. in a month. Sure. Let's Jesus, just be helping people. Notes. Yeah. Let's help so people that we'll just be helping it. people get information. Yeah. And then, thank you so because much. Because this country is really challenging and we need wisdom to navigate the struggles of our nation. God bless you, sir, for your thoughts this morning. Thank you so much.